Hello, this is Steve from uh, Wine Cellar Designers Group. Some very, something very unique about this wine cellar that's different than some others. And I'm going to get into that here as we kind of open this door here. One thing we did was the owner wanted a, a shiny look or a some way to finish the wood, but didn't want lacquer. So what we did was we took a wax to this. So this is a, a white rift oak. And then what we did is we took a wax to it and to give it this beautiful sheen look without having the lacquer smell that he didn't want in his wine cellar. Very smart way of doing it. Other great things we did, obviously we have a very custom arch that we did, uh, that we made. One thing too is also the horizontal displays that are at the top here, all magnum horizontal displays. Cellar holds about 900 plus bottles and that right there holds 16 bottles up there as well. We also have some very good ways of the t you know, self-closing hinges. All of our racks come three and three quarter cubicles to fit any type of burgundy bottle or any 750 that you have that's available, even some champagnes. They, he wanted storage, that's why we have a lot of these bottles up here, but he also wanted to have some stemware holders, an arch here to be able to decant wine or do anything he wants to, have two of those, and then also really get into the horizontal displays. That's a big thing to be able to showcase some of the wines you want as well. He does have a high reveal, a reveal here to be able to have a, a light balance in the back to be able to light up those bottles. And then of course the case storage that you see below for some of his big box cases that he has as well. And then of course at the very end, because he has, uh, uh, because we installed stainless steel doors, bronze doors that we have, at the very end we did what's called a horizontal display to be able to showcase some of his best bottles that he has right there in front of the glass. This one is very special to me. It's a very special person who I built it for. And in addition to that, we did some real special things when it comes to our light panels and some other pieces of this project. So let me get right into what we did. So in here, it, it has 450 bottles. We did alder wood with our gray stain and lacquer. What we did was amazing. These are our light panels and our light panels, they light up for alcohol, they light up for and, and then also obviously we have a light up area for the champagne area. But these light panels are fantastic. It ends up lighting up the alcohol or wine or tequila. Anything you want can light up inside of this as well. We have a curved corner here, horizontal displays coming down here, and we have some case storage and some diamond bins as well. Also some things we included in here is the we did an area for some for a glass rack and a marble tabletop to be able to decant any bottles. Put out a beautiful picture from Napa that they wanted to have back there. And again, just some extra beautiful touches that we did to get this room where we needed it to be. Hello again, this is Steve from Wine Cellar Designers Group. We're here in West Palm Gardens uh, in Florida. I'm gonna show you some amazing things we did for this cellar. This cellar is 616 bottles worth of capacity. What we want to do is something very unique for the space to match the, de the everything that's decorative in this house. So what we, what we want to do is have a lot of different shelves and have a lot of visibility of the bottles. And what we did here is add a channel. We route out the wood to create a channel so that we can have a, a good lighting source, LED light source to be able to light all the different reveals that we have in into the uh, cellar. This is the alder wood with a black stain and lacquer. So when you're walking anywhere in the house from, from the kitchen or from front door, we have a horizontal display. And again, as you can see, the bottle rests inside a shelf so that the bottles can't just fall out and roll out. We have some cubicles or we call them cubbies that we have as well. You could put some case storage in there or you can just put the bottles as you see. We have the reveals again with the lighting that's coming down and this is something unique that we're starting to do a lot more. This is our cork Ford 750s but instead of doing the old style 750s where it's kind of the traditional wine racks we're now making them more into that Y. So 
to make it have a really good look. Again, cork for here, make sure that the bottles cannot fall out. And then case storage. So you can see the cases from walking into the house or from the kitchen. You can see also the case storage. We built a small table here, tasting table, open a bottle. You know, obviously you can't something in there as well. And then as we go into back in the cellar again, we kind of co uh, copycat or mimic everything we did on the other side. Again, horizontal displays to show in the dining room. And again, more reveals, cubicles, and the Y750s to get a little bit more of a better look, more of a modern look than just the old cork forward uh, lattice that we have in there.